welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be unboxing the April Birch Box. So if you want to see what I got in my Birch Box, then just stay tuned. Okay, so this month was a little bit better. Um, I did pick a curated box in the past. My curated boxes, if I got one, it was all skincare, except for like a lip and cheek. Um, so I have picked two curated ones and I think one has been, um, I didn't get the email to pick, um, or that it was time. So they just sent me one and out of all the curated boxes and the one that they did send me again, it was a bunch of hair leaving conditioner and lip and cheek products. Um, so let's dive into this month because I got to pick it. I did not pick skincare. Um, they finally had a curated box that was not skincare related, so I'm excited. Um, this is the box and it is really cute. Now I do, again, I shouldn't have picked Birch Box because of the sample size. I should have spent a little more money and got full sizes from a different company, but that's a different story. Um, so it's green paper and it has a little card and the card says, look for lip products with peppermint oil for a plumping effect. So, let's see. Inside is, the, well, they fell out. Okay, let's try. Inside is the five products. Let's start with the lip. The lip is, let's see. It's a lip tint, and a full size of this is $19. It is from the company Mana. I don't want to say it and get it wrong. I'm going to show y'all. It's right there. Okay. I'll have it linked down below. Um. It's great alone or on top of your favorite lipstick. It is hydrating, glossy tint that gives your lips a hint of sheer pink. So I'm probably not going to use this. I'm either going to give it to my mom. It is unopened. Or I'm going to put it in a giveaway. Next is some Extension Plus Curl Mascara. The full size of this is $15. So this is it. This mascara's uniquely shaped wand is designed to hug your eyes natural curve so they can reach every lash with its curling and lengthening effect. It is closed. I'm not going to use it. See if my mom wants it. If not, giveaway box. Because I already have too many mascaras that need to get used. And I don't feel like opening another one. Next up is Phase Zero Cotton Candy Blusher. So... These are really small. Again, they're sample sizes. Um, it just says cotton candy blush on the back. And I really, the packaging is sleek. Like, that's nice. A full size of this goes for $21. It is the silky cotton candy pink blush into the apples of your cheeks for a natural look. And it is a really pretty blush color. Like, that is really pretty. I am going to use this. Um, so I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to go ahead and add that to my collection for blushes. Next up, we have the Hu Benefit Hula Bronzer in, I don't know what shade this is. Oh, oh, uh, it's original. So this is the little thing and it comes in the smallest sample. And a full size of this is $30. So this is the color for that. I will try it. Um, honestly, it kind of looks too dark for my skin, but maybe not. So I'm going to try that. So let's keep. I just wish that it was a little more full size, but I guess that's my fault for going with Birch Box. But now I know, and we'll wait and move on to something else. Okay, next up is City Limits, 
and it is the Ibby Y Beauty. I got the shade Nightfall. It is a eyeshadow. So when I seen this, um, when I picked this box, picked it because it was makeup. They did not have a picture of this, so I went and researched like Ibby Y and City Limits eyeshadows, and I thought it was like a little small eyeshadow palette. Nope, one shade. One shade. But the packaging is really cute. It is shimmery, so that's cute. Um, full size this is 20 bucks, so definitely not worth 20 bucks. I mean, I'm not paying 20 bucks for a single eyeshadow. The color is gorgeous, though. So, okay, so I am going to swatch this because I am going to keep this. So, this is that color. It's like a really pretty gold color. And it's called Night Fall. And it is a lush eyeshadow. So, I am keeping this. And out of five items, um, I'm going to ask my mom about the lip and the mascara. She don't want it. They're still packaged. They'll go into the giveaway box. Oh, is this month's box better than the other ones that I've gotten in the past four months? Yes. Um, because it was more makeup related. Um, everything has been skincare. Everything has been face oils and leave-in conditioners and blush and lip tints. So, even though there was a blush in here, I'm okay with that because it's a really pretty blush. Um, it was more makeup related. There's only two products I'm iffy about that I'm not going to use. So it's these two right here. So it was a better month this month. We shall see, and the box is really cute for spring. So we shall see what next month's box holds. I cannot wait until this subscription is over to uh, get a new subscription because Birch Box just ain't having it for me. And I'm just, I want full size and I want something that I'm not going to continue to get over and over and over. Um, I don't need three leave-in conditioners for my hair. Um, I don't use that all the time. So, most of that went into a giveaway. But because it's unopened and I'm not going to use it. So, let me know your thoughts on my Birch Box this month. Or if you got Birch Box, what box did you get? The same thing over and over. I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification. And to be notified when I post again. And until next time, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.